<laughs> Welcome everybody to Cat Daddy Jackson Galaxy here today. We're going to be talking about a question that gets asked to me and to the interwebs in general all the time, and that is, why does my cat sleep like that? Or like that? Or like that? You know, these are the kind of questions that we seem to have all the time in the world to think about. Because we are spending too much time looking at our cats sleeping these days. This is a sign, you guys. Get out of the house! No, I'm, I'm kidding. Sort of. Today, we're going to talk about sleeping positions. Why does my cat sleep like this? To begin with, as I will always do, cats, like humans, are individuals. We all sleep strangely. Myself, I tend to sleep a bit like a corpse. I wake up and I'm covered in cats. Cats are individuals, so they may sleep in a certain position just because when they were really young they saw their brothers or their sisters or their mom sleeping like that, so they started sleeping like that. That said, we can start to examine uh, different sleeping positions and what in general they mean about your cat. So, shall we get started? Let's go! So first position is the most common sleeping position in all of catdom, and that would be the curled up position. So in curled up position, and you guys, if you haven't seen this position, then why are you watching this channel? Unless you're gonna go out and get a cat tomorrow. The sleeping position that we're talking about is the cat curled around itself, tail curled up, head curled up towards belly. Let's start thinking about this in terms of what we call the raw cat, the cat ancestor. In the wild, in the open, outside, cats will sleep in this position mainly to conserve body heat and to make themselves the smallest possible target for something that might be coming to eat them. So that is something that has just become a part of a cat's sort of collective unconscious over the centuries and that's the most common position. Now, what does that say about your cat? Uh, could mean that they're a little chilly, but normally it's just a, 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 the most common position, right? Right, so that's the curled up position. Now let's go in the opposite direction. If curled up is conserving body heat, then what is trying to vent body heat? Well, that would be laying on your side, fully stretched out, uh, with as much of, of your midsection as you can hitting the ground. Normally you'll see that position when cats are just trying to cool down because they're just too hot. So we'll see cats like that. Uh, right now there's one in my house because it's hot outside right now. Stretched out position on the side is not just about uh, uh, cooling down. It's also showing that they're very relaxed. When the stomach is exposed, it lets you know that they're feeling safe. So if your cat is stretched out someplace, that's a good sign. It lets you know that your cat is feeling nice and secure, and you might want to turn up the AC every once in a while, you miser. If there's one cat position that is asked of me all the time, it would be cat in a box. What is the cat in a box? Okay, so there's a couple of different explanations of this. I gotta say I don't all the way buy uh, some of the, the explanations that I've heard in the past, but let's go through it all. The first thing is that a cat would be in a box because they're scared, because they don't feel safe. They feel like they need to have something around them to protect them from whatever might be coming their way. Another sign that your cat might be scared and getting into a box would be if they're getting into other tight places, like drawers. Suddenly your cat's going into your dresser drawers, prying it open and getting it in there, uh, or going up behind the sink into a drawer there, or some other tight and invisible place. Yeah, that's a surefire sign that your cat is just anxious. There's something going on in your home that changed, and because of that, your cat is feeling very unsafe and they're covering themselves. You know, I've heard it said that if your cat is in a box, you better find out what's wrong with your cat. Okay, I, 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 I get it. And let's go back to the raw cat, the cat in the wild. Would that cat go into sort of an enclosed space to make sure that predators couldn't get them? Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Not all the way though, because if a cat's in something, well, that means getting out of it when something's rushing you is going to be not the smartest move in the world because you're stuck, you're gonna get ambushed. If your cat is sleeping in a box, never slept in a box before, you go, okay, is there something they're not feeling secure about? The one thing that you don't wanna do is provide them with more boxes because you're basically reinforcing that feeling of helplessness and you're not helping them through. Another sort of raw cat behavior, they stalk, 
they then rush, right? So you know the cat will sit there and just hunt something for hours, just watching it go, being in an advantageous space so they can burst out and get their prey. That is also cat in a box. You know how I talk about tree dwellers and bush dwellers? Boxes are the perfect location for a bush dweller. If your cat gets their mojo on the ground and they want to be that sort of stalk and rush cat, well, that's the perfect place to be would be in a box. So I know, you know, cat in a box is also incredibly cute. I'm sure that you have four boxes around the house that you're dying to throw out, but your cat keeps sleeping in them. Well, uh, what do you want me to say? You know, get a nicer piece of cat furniture, but in the meantime, it's cute, right? It's really cute. Moving on. The next position we're gonna talk about is the belly up position, or what I like to call the sea otter position. Um, I will show you a picture right here of my boy Theo in the sea otter position, and come on, tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. And don't tell me if it's not the cutest thing because he's my cat. What you're seeing is a cat sleeping, sleeping, with their entire midline exposed. The most vulnerable piece of cat real estate is right here. Because if you are a predator and you come across a sleeping cat with their belly up in the air like that, that's the easiest kill you've had all day, all week, all year. If your cat is gonna sleep like that in your home with their belly up and their legs out like that, that is your indication that your cat is feeling 1000% safe and secure and mojo-fied, their territory is absolutely under lock and key and they feel good. As I said before, there's different variations of the sea otter. The sea otter is belly up all the way. Then you've got sort of turned over, but belly still exposed. Again, it's a stretched out, and even if the belly is kind of exposed, that again is a sign of confidence and a sign of safety. So good for you if your cat is sea ottering or semi-ottering. So here's one that's really interesting. Cats who sleep with their eyes barely closed, I kind of like that, a little, you know, a little 420. Also, uh, cats who sleep with one eye open, get it? I sleep with one eye open. When you think about the concept of a cat nap, uh, or sleeping with one eye open. They both conjure the same thing, that I'm just sort of lightly sleeping. And in this case, that is exactly the truth. Again, let's talk about the raw cat. When cats are sleeping out in the open, they have to basically be sleeping with one eye open, literally and figuratively, because at any time, some stimulus can be coming in their direction that they have to respond to. They have to be ready to move to react. So they can sleep in this very light sleeping stage for hours at a time. Uh, it, it does tell you that your cat is just more alert. They're not in a deep state of sleep. What does that say about your cat? It's a natural state for many cats. It could just be that you have a noisy home, that you live on a noisy street, that there's a lot of beings in your home. Like there's a lot of cat napping going on in my house because there's a lot of cats and a lot of dogs and a lot of you know chickens and everything else so you know they do want to know what's coming in their direction so it is a, a normal state of being at least for part of the day I wouldn't worry about it at all but it is interesting though that cats can sleep like that for hours at a time whether they're doing the one eye open one eye closed but I would call that the pirate sleep uh, or just the sort of cat nap where their ears are also moving at the same time letting you know remember cats ears are like radar dishes they are constantly on the lookout for something to take in that's either good news or bad news, and they're constantly doing that if they're alert. So in the cat nap type of position, there you're gonna see a little bit of action going on in the ears. Now that shouldn't be confused with normal REM sleep. Now I know that you guys have asked me a lot about are they having kitty dreams? Are they being chased by a dog? You know the, the one I'm talking about where it looks like they're running or their ears are going, whatever. Those are just normal muscle contractions that happen during REM sleep. Nothing to worry about, it just means your cat's having a nice deep nap and maybe dreams of, I don't know, well, not dogs chasing them, something nice. The next position we will talk about is the loaf position. I have referred to this in other videos, uh, whether uh, I was the one and only person to ever call it the meatloaf position. Loaf is when it's like this. What are you talking about, that sphinx? No, I call this the semi-loaf. I mean, it could be a semi-loaf if you're the only person that called it. <laughs> so you need to say that. <laughs> Maybe I should skip the loaf altogether. Yeah. 
I called it that, I'm sticking to it. I think it's a funnier name than loaf. Meatloaf is good because then you have the meatloaf and then you have the semi-meatloaf. Okay, let's talk about these. So the loaf position is cat in sort of a kitty unit, all sort of folded in, arms folded underneath them, and usually it's like this. You see with my, my elbows like this? So they are paws tucked in. Now in that position, it's just another heat conserving unit position, just like the curled up position. Does it mean that your cat's not happy or anything like that, or that they've got some place to be? As I've heard some theories, no, I don't think so at all. Sometimes a loaf is just a loaf. It doesn't mean anything except that this is a comfortable way of them sleeping. Now there's the other loaf position, which is what I call the semi-loaf. So the semi-loaf, here come the paws, paws come out, paws go underneath my body, and I'm sleeping. Well, that's almost like cat nap or one eye open, right? So that means that at any given moment they hear something that doesn't sound kosher to them, bang, they're in action, right? Out from under them, they can move now. So it's almost like the one eye open. So imagine that. You can be sort of a pirate loaf. Ha <laughs> ha matey. The next position that we will talk about, the next cat sleeping position is arguably the cutest one. Although box sleeping is cute, or the variation of box sleeping, sleeping in the sink, that's pretty cute as well. But the paw over the eye, the cat dab. You'll see this happen much more during the middle of the day when there's sun coming in the room, when there's a light source that's just a little bright and they just want to shield their eyes from what's going on. I, I've actually read somewhere where it was one of those like, I want to be alone, you know? I want to be alone. Oh, the world is too much, go away. It's not true, come on. It, the, the reason, if you think about it, it's just that your cat is sleeping in a spot where they just want the light to be less. Or, like I've said before, oh, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, oh, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. And that happened, right? That Sometimes that just happens. And I think we just have to remember that. But I think by and large, that just serves a function. Now we're moving into the area of Cat Daddy Dictionary right now. So let's just put on our British accent here. Today, what is monorail cat? Hmm, monorail cat. Anyway, monorail cat, if you haven't heard of that one before, that's basically a cat who would be on the arm of this chair right here with paws draped over either side like a monorail, right? And they do that uh, over any uh, piece of furniture that has an arm to it. Um, I've seen cats uh, uh, on tops of catios with, you know, wood beaming. It's just a way to just sort of hang off the bottom. Now, the first and foremost thing that that uh, sort of transmits is comfort. I'm totally safe, totally comfortable. Again, without the immediate use of their legs in any kind of a situation, the most universally comfortable position that I can tell you about, arm, the legs are not tucked under the bottom, they're not ready to go in any way, they're not curled up and ready to go. It's just, I feel safe, I feel untouchable, let the day just pass me by. And there's your monorail cat for you. And then there is the position that for me, as your esteemed presenter and somebody who gets to like sort of point over their shoulders and have pictures appear, which is what I hope is happening right now, the contortionist position. And the contortionist, I mean, that just sort of, that's a catch-all. That's just for a cat who sleeps twisted up in some bizarre position. You walk into the room, you're like, how did that even happen? Again, that's about comfort. That's just about me flopping over in any which way that my body feels like going. And if I'm a cat, that body can go just about any which direction. Don't forget, cat's skeletons are incredibly flexible, allowing them to get into crazy tight places, crazy high places. It allows them to fall from, from incredibly high places and still have the ability to right themselves. They're, when they are falling through the air, their body has this incredible writing mechanism where this skeleton can twist itself around, find the horizon, and land. That's what a cat's skeleton is. So when they sleep, just exploiting that, and tell me you haven't felt jealous a few times. Now, I will bring this all around again by, by reopening the conversation that what we're saying about safety, not safety, ready to spring into action, ready to sit there all day. Oh, I'm in a box, I don't feel safe. I'm in a drawer, I don't feel safe. All of these things are conditional. 
None of this, just like any other cat behavior that we talk about, happens in a vacuum. So just because your cat is sleeping in a monorail might mean nothing if they've done it for a long time. Might mean something if they've never done it before. Uh, it, it, if they're sleeping in a box, like I said before, suddenly they're sleeping in a box, in a drawer, in a, some kind of a hidden place, and they have never in their life done that, the first thing that you probably want to do is go to the vet because your cat could be feeling ill and what cats will do a lot of times when they feel not well is they will take themselves out of rotation because again in that raw cat perspective that ancestral cat perspective weakness means that I can be picked off at any given second when we talk about cats being incredibly stoic when it comes to pain hell yes I mean I have known cats who uh, who showed up at the shelter with gun pellets in their legs and they're still just walking around trying not to favor that leg because if they show weakness they're dead out there so just remember that your cat will do certain very subtle things when they want you to know they're not feeling well one of those things is hiding so there you go uh, th all of these things are conditional based on the life around the cat so take what I'm saying with a certain amount of a grain of salt. Um, take that grain of salt, pour it on your loaf cat, and you've got a tasty treat. Uh-uh. So, uh, anyhow. <laughs> So that's it you guys, those are the top sleeping positions. I want to see your cat sleeping, I know you've got some great stuff to share. Go to jacksongalaxy.com forward slash submit, show me some videos of your cats in weird positions, in boxes, on the top of a door frame, you know I want to see that stuff. And in the meantime, don't forget to pass this on to your friends and click all these buttons and these bells and everything because you want to make sure that the next time I talk about something obscure but has been going through your head incessantly, you'll get the alert when it comes time. All right, you guys, until next time. All light and all love and all sweet, dreamy mojo to you. 